I think others will wait us on our will, will get us on our way. Yeah, good morning. I think I've typed the topic for today. I think you can see it there, all of us. Oh, I put it in the chat actually. Can you see it? Yes, I can. You can, you can, yeah. The topic for today is um, the three sets that change lives. Yeah, actually, I'm excited for today. Today, of course, being a Friday. Uh, yeah, it's the end of week, and so we, we just thank God that we are ending our working week and uh, going into 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 uh, the weekend. It's quite exciting whenever we do that, but also excited because we come together in this moment. In fact, I dubbed this is mindset training, but I thought I, I could do, add on another name for this session. And uh, the name is Morocco Morning Nuggets. Morocco Morning Dag Nuggets. And the way when I thought about it, it just rhymed so well. Morocco Morning Nuggets. Because we come here, we get the nuggets, we go through through the through, through, through. All the time we are getting better. So I thought we should add something like that. Morocco Morning Nuggets. So today we have got some nuggets to, to look at together. And uh, uh, when I was given this information yesterday, actually, uh, because uh, Linda said she's drawing out a list, literally, literally, I know I'm the one to start this list. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. And I'm sorry, actually, last time, I think twice I missed this. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Morocco, sorry, Morocco, uh, sorry, the, the topic today is the three sets that change lives, you know? Uh, in mathematics, I think most, if you, you, you uh, in at early stages, you are, uh, if you are learning maths, there is, there is a set that you are supposed to have. It's called the mathematical set. And in that set, there are tools. And those tools, you can use them to, to learn different skills, to draw an angle or to, to read off, to read off uh, a length of a, of a line. You know, it it has got all that one, you know, and uh, in lives we 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 have those sets. I tell you, when you have these sets, you ride the the life. You go ahead. You go ahead, and and it doesn't matter whether you you say I don't have them or not. At every stage, we have them. The only thing, the only thing we need to do is to make sure that we are using them the right way. Using them the right way to make our to, to get us to the destination for which we need we, we have. Basically, we were created. We were created for a destination, each one of us. God didn't just plant us here for just nothing. And only after here, we for example, we come here, uh, we do our work, we eat, we sleep, and that's in day in day out. No, no, no. There's some some purpose for which we are we are we, we are created. And that purpose is only fulfilled by these three sets. Not not by them only. There are many sets, but I thought these you would agree with me are very very important. And what are these ones? Uh, you may be wondering what is the, what is he talking about? I'm talking about mathematical set. <laughs> now yes, yeah. These three sets. Um, one mindset. The second one is the skill set. And the third one is the tool set. You all the time, whether you are using them or not, you 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 are we are always uh, uh, kind of interjecting with that. We have got, of course, a mindset, and here we are. We have got mindset training before we go and we do anything else. Yeah, in other words, we are doing something to our mind. We are setting it. We are resetting it. We are programming it. You know, in in our mind, there is something that was put there without our our um uh, without our we didn't put it, uh, take this in, 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 we did not vote on it. In most cases, it would be the people who, um, our parents, you know, they would do put things in our mind. And then those things would do, uh, the, the, whatever they put in our mind, would we, we, they develop into belief. And then it would become habit, and it becomes a habit. And then that, when you use that those habits properly, we either reach our destination, we reach, uh, sorry, a destination anyway. Whether it's that which the, which God said, oh, I'm putting you here, James, you are going to do this. Uh, whether that, that that is fulfilled depends on how I'm using my mind. 
how my se my mind is set, and I think it is true for every uh, every, every everyone actually. Yeah. So the the um the dictionary definition of uh, I will, we may not to, to, uh, look at them all because of our time. Really, we may not really look at them all. But I thought if we don't look at them all, at least let's look at the one that determines the the three. Uh, the one that determines the other two. If you've got if you've got a mindset, and you don't have the tools, you don't have the uh, skill set, then you can figure out how to get the skill set. If you got the mindset, and you don't have the tool set, then you want to to do a task, then you still the mind will figure out what kind of tool you need. Yeah, for example, here at Morocco, in, I mean the in the digital world right now. Someone figured out and said, I think the digital world can make us get things better quickly. And they sat down and they innovated. Like in accounting, so we have the software. Read the software has revolutionized lives, really. The software that we use, the software that we use in, in accounting, you know. You just have your, those figures, and then when you, you put them into the software, it will bring out a, a very amazing, amazing report, like digital, for example, accounting. Uh, accounting uh, uh, statements and on it was just you know and that was it came from the mindset of that innovator and all of us have got this so yeah um, uh, i was about to I, I was about to just read out the, 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 the dictionary meaning of uh, of of mindset uh, this is what i picked up the dictionary meaning of uh, of, of mindset um Mindset is a habitual or characteristic mental attitude that determines how you will inter interpret and respond to situations. And it has got synonyms, mentality, mindset, outlook, um, attitude, mental attitude, the complex mental states involving beliefs and feelings and values and dispositions to act in a certain way. I just like that part where acting in a certain way. All the time we are acting in a certain way. We are responding to things in a certain way. We are doing things in a certain way. And by doing things in that certain way, then it allows us to reach our destination. Now, in that certain way, if it is wrong, well, if it is right, then we will reach the right destination. If that certain way, if it's wrong, then we will reach the, still a destination, but not that one, perhaps the one we uh, we require. And therefore we need really to set, to, make, to get our mindset right. We, ha we have to get our mind right. Uh, if we are focusing, if for example, we, we have got a task to, to do, then we have got to be determined. First of all, we, in, still in the mind, because our thoughts, uh, if, I, if perhaps I ask, that in the last 24 hours, um, how many of us have may have thought of thoughts and dwelt on the thoughts that actually are negative? How many of us have done that? I think I have. The last 24 hours, not even a week, not even a month. How many of us have uh, uh, had thoughts and we then dwelt on many thoughts, but we dwelt on those thoughts that then uh, giving us negative results, uh, but I have, perhaps I'm not I'm not enough. Perhaps I can't do that. Perhaps I can't afford that. All those things are thoughts that are not rich in making us reach the desire the, the desired ends of whatever we, we we want. Oh, that is very difficult. Oh, I I'm not made for that. Uh, the, the 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 main the main the main thoughts which normally go through I think millions and billions of people is the fact that there is this. Uh, 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 feeling that you you can't afford that or you don't have enough or we don't have enough and therefore I can't afford that. Uh, again, it is just a thought really because uh, a number of a number of times we find that if you dwell if you want something and you want it so badly <laughs> and your 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 bank account has got nothing, I tell you you'll get it. How would you get it? You approach someone and say, you know, can you lend me some money? Because you dwelt on that thought that I must get it. But now when you dwell on the thing that, no, I can't afford it. And it's a, a lie. But both of them are lies. I can't afford and I can afford. Those are lies. 
and I will tell you, I will tell you how. Before you move, if you say, I can't afford, you are going to move in a certain direction. So you don't know how that one will be. And the direction only is that you will not buy this item which you need, or you will not go for this course because it's very expensive and so on and so forth. Uh, and then, but when you put that lie into action, like going ahead, then you will not go for this course, you will not go for that item, and therefore you remain where you are. But if you say, I can, uh, I can buy it, Again, you've lied to yourself, but you've lied to yourself in a positive way. You go, you take action, and that action will make you get what you need. And then what has happened there, it has, whatever has happened, it is in the mind. You have reset the mind by saying, I can afford this. I can do this. I can actually do this, uh, this course. I can be of value. I am I'm, I'm born to win. I'm a winner. And uh, uh, quite a number of people uh, have, and it, I think it's right, uh, when you dwell, whatever you dwell on, whatever you focus on, increases. Once you focus on something, it's going to expand. And uh, once then you take away your focus on it, again, it's in the mind. That's why I said the, mind, the mindset is so important. Everything whether I'm going to use this skill, whether I'm getting an account, accounting skill, I'm going to learn, still it started in the mind. Does that mean that the process was so easy? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't describe it that way. For some it was, but I would, for my case, I wouldn't describe it that way. However, it's done and it will be done. And for some of you, again, perhaps uh, uh, this has been told to you, if, if you are an intern, uh, just do it, do it. Doesn't matter, it will come to an end. You will do it, you will get this SCA, which we advocate here in Morocco a lot. Yeah. Yes. So mindset, mindset is so so important that it determines what you do. Even for coming in here, again, something yeah, just of program I would say, okay, the biological clock went off, and then you woke up and they say, Oh, today's a Friday, I must be there by nine o'clock in this case, by uh, uh if you are whatever time in your in your region where you are. By this time, I must be there. Again, it started in the mind. And that's, that, that's the reason why it's quite so important that we, we should always work on our mind. You know, we eat food every day. I'm, I'm hoping so, <laughs> but me, I do. <laughs> so we eat food every day, we feed our bodies and uh, we want them to be healthy. But the mind, what do we do to it? Sometimes we don't do anything. One of the things, of course, the mind is the fact that we have to dwell on thoughts. You may say, okay, oh, if I don't have a book, what do I do? But the thoughts will come. So let's dwell on the thoughts that are going to empower us, that are going to move us from one stage to another, and that, uh, that are going to get, get us on that, that course. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a degree or it is a SCCA, for example, or whatever it is. Let us just dwell on that. And when we do, then things are going to... Um, to just come out from the bad position to a flower's position, BUD, the, 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 that small thing that comes in before the flower, yeah, yeah, everything is in that position, but in order for it to blossom, then it requires nutrients and uh, the nutrients come out and eventually okay, come in and eventually uh, the flower uh, blossoms. Because that is, we are on that destination where we are going to flower, not only just stop at the flowering how fruit and all I put out this, these fruits to others to others to, to others to, to 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 gain and to move to leave a, some some kind of a value in their lives and that is what we need to do and the only thing that can make us do that way is to dwell on this mindset I said mindset uh, skill set tool set but I said I think we'll dwell on just mindset because it is these three are so huge I thought I saw huge that we even we can't even finish uh, the mindset. So what we do, we need to, to retrain our mind. We need to reprogram our mind, and this is on a daily basis. And when we are consistent, we are focused, we are determined, we are committed, we are going to go very far. And all of us, I think, are go, have got that kind of destiny. I'm, I'm just going to leave others to to add on as I look at the watch. Or clock, it is. Uh, it looks as if I've spoken so much. Uh, I just want to allow others, but please let us just dwell on the mindset. The other two, when I get some time, 
uh, again, we are. I'm going to. I'm going to lead into that one. Hi everyone. Good morning. Thank Good morning, you. Sir. Yeah, Good thanks morning, again sir. for this topic. It uh, really gives you something to think about, and uh, yeah, uh, about these uh, three sets. That uh, now that you you mentioned them, uh, and I was thinking, yeah, these these are the th the three things that uh, is um, what makes you do anything in your life mindset skill set and tool set so uh, i always believe that uh, we with the right mindset you just uh, you have uh, half of the things and then you need the, the necessary skills or tools to um, do whatever you want and um, yeah uh, i i remember we have we once uh, talked about in one of our sessions about will and power and i think now the, the mindset is the will that your you will to do something and uh the power is the the tools or a skill that you need to do anything so uh they, it's uh, uh they are somehow uh, uh like a chain and uh, they're together so you cannot uh you know have a, if, if you have the right mindset but you don't have the skills and tools uh, to do it uh, so you you it's not uh, possible for you to um, to do that or if you have the skills uh, you have the necessary sources and everything to do something but you, you don't will to you don't have that mindset and the right mindset for doing anything for uh, changing your life you would uh, never do that even even if you have all the sources in the world all the tools and everything so uh, yeah, I think these uh, three together uh, that are the things that uh, can move you forward. They can uh, develop yourself and uh, they can change your life. And uh, sorry, uh, yeah, and uh, it's important for you to uh, have the have that mindset uh, for developing yourself, for improving yourself, and. Uh, I mean the the growth mindset that you have to have, uh, that uh, is uh, kind of uh, built by your uh, beliefs and uh, your uh, abilities, and um, with that growth mindset you can um, uh, see challenges as opportunities, and you can learn and grow. And uh, uh, whenever you face a setback. So you can uh, you can um, get past that and move forward. So you have to have that uh, growth mindset uh, if you want to uh, change something in your life or if you want to um, change uh, situations for better. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to um, emphasize that how these uh, three sets, these three elements are uh, together and uh, you have to have both uh, three to uh, do anything in your life, to change your life or uh, to move forward in your life. Yeah, so thank you, James, for this topic. I never thought about it uh, this way and uh, it was really uh, good listening to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Sir Peter. And I like the way you talked about the power and will. And uh, if those will willpower, sometimes it is, it is together, willpower, you see, there's also a phrase where this says, where there is will, there is a way. Again, everything is still mindset. When they, where there is a will, there is a way. So there we, there you are. And uh, the fact that um, you talked about, yeah, if any set, there is a, any, any, uh, any, anything, any setbacks or any challenges against the willpower that will, uh, the mind that, that will render ours to go over that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm. Yes, there must be someone else. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hi. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Good uh, morning, everyone. Uh, that's a great topic there. Um, I've been listening to it, and um, I'm appreciating every, every, every contribution towards this. So, um, I just want to mention something here. Uh, that um. There's something that James has mentioned that uh, for our bodies to grow, you know, we we need to eat, we need to like we eat every day. 
So um, mind basically goes to a strong mind. That is for us to build a strong mind. Uh, it It is all dependent on whatever you feed your mind also. So if you are feeding your mind with negativity, then you know the outcome is going to be failure. So um, so how do we feed our mind? We, we feed our mind through... Um, through what we see with our eyes and through what we hear with our ears. So um, uh, we, we need to strive all times to uh, at least most of the things that you you view, uh, try to view positive things, uh, try to hear um, I mean, um, uh, positive things that is going to make um, uh, make your mind to be, to be, to be strong. And then um, when you feed your mind, that is through the ears and through the um, uh, through the eyes. That is, uh, we are talking about whatever you are reading, whatever you are watching. If it is um, uh, if it if, if it's uh, talk about videos or talk about any movie, talk about anything, whatever you hear. If it is about music, you know. Now this translates to how you view things. Now, uh, what do I mean? Now it will move you uh, to now not seeing things with your eyes, but seeing things with your mind. Um, I appreciate the fact that um, when you even read the Bible, uh, this man called Paul said that we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. You know, you, you, you walk by that ability, having your mind that, you know, I'm going to cross over this. You know, I've been watching the news and everywhere is flooding. And then you find someone, what makes or what gives someone to say, I'm going to cross this river or I'm going to cross this path? there are a lot of floods it means there's a way he's viewing things not with his eyes but there's something inside he's having a strong mental ability that hey despite these floods i'm going to to to, to cross and you'll see some of them they they move uh, they are able to cross so what i'm saying is this now so feed your mind with positive things so that you are able to view with the positivity you get that so you, you, whatever you see, whatever you hear, let it be positive so that you can have a very strong mind. And then now, now that is going to translate you now so that every time you view things, you don't just view things the way you see them, but you view things with a strong mind. Because um, as, as, as I conclude, um, God himself, when he was creating the heavens and the earth, you could imagine where there was nothing he was seeing that it's going to be. And the moment he just said, let there be, let there be. You can imagine, he said, let there be. He had not even seen how the trees are going to be, but there was an imagination inside him. There were thoughts inside him. And those thoughts, you know, he brought them to reality because he had a strong mind. And that is the strong mind that I want us to have uh, this morning. Thank you so much, James. Thank you, Calvin. Yeah, I, I just like that, uh, the fact that uh, we have got the ears and he, ears and eyes, and uh, those help to feed our mind. And uh, it's a very good, uh, good um, um, kind of um, way to look at it, because it really our mind is either, is either corrupted or it is um, developed in a, in a positive way by what we see and what we hear. Yes, I would agree. 100% about that. Yeah. Um, I think we still have some time. Yeah. Hi, James. Thank hello, you. Richie. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Yeah. So I think, yeah, these three sets of like mindset, skill set, and tool set are like really important in everyone's life. Like they will impact us like really heavily and significantly. And so, like, everyone is talking about mindset. So I think I will focus on that because, like, these three sets are, like, if we talk separately about them, they are really big and can't be finished in a short time. So, yeah, I think, like, uh, I agree with everyone uh, who ever contributed uh, till now that we need to have, like, a very positive mindset and, like, have a positive attitude in our life to uh, like achieve whatever we want to like without having a positive mindset we uh, like can't go in the direction which we want to go and achieve our goals so yeah for that we need to develop a, a positive mindset but yeah like you can't develop or like have a positive mindset uh, like from the day one you need to develop it by the day like by, by feeding your mind like positive things and like whatever you're seeing to uh, in your environment or like in uh in your daily life, you can see like you might be in the same uh, 
situation but it's your perspective it's your mindset which differs it like uh like the two people are in the same situation like right? like things might not be going their way and like everything uh like turns out to be a failure for them but it's their perspective and their mindset which might uh like change the situation for both of them like one person is seeing it negatively he's saying like oh nothing is working out and whatever i try working so he might give up and like he does not even achieve those goals which have has like uh tried to set out in the starting for him but like uh, in the same situation if the other person is thinking like yeah it doesn't matter if it's my efforts are not working i will try more harder and i will i should try to look at uh, at the positive side like if these things are not working then there must be something i'm doing wrong i should like uh, self assess myself and see where i'm going wrong and i can try it again and he, that person will eventually will get successful of those things and he will eventually achieve his uh, goal as well uh like uh, uh, if we take a example like uh, one of the times like when edison was uh, like inventing the bulb so like he had uh, uh, he tried like around 1000 times but he failed every time so like one person was asking him like uh, why don't you just give up this thing like you have tried 1000 times but it's still not working so it might not be meant to be then uh, what edison said to him like uh, these are not the 100 1000 failures i have faced these are the 1000 methods i know that they won't work to create a bulb so yeah this, uh, like in the same situation edison was saying like uh, on the positive side like uh, if these methods are not working these are the thousand ways a bulb can't be invented i should uh, discover more methods by which it can be invented so yeah like in the same situation two person can see the same thing in the two different ways and that totally depends on their mindset their attitude toward that situation so yeah that's really important for that and yeah like uh, like uh, addition developed that mindset not on like from the day one itself like how we train our body like how we physically exercise and build muscles that's also like uh, we feed our mind and build our mind muscles build the uh, build that muscles of belief and attitude Uh, by which we can uh, like in the long term we can create that positive mindset like whatever uh, in situation we are we will always look out the positive situation that we develop over time and not uh, like from the day one so we need to focus on that as well and yeah like uh, having a mindset uh, like with the other two sets as well if they like uh, balance together and combine together they will help us achieve anything we want to achieve yeah that's what i wanted to contribute thanks james thank you so much for such a interesting topic oh thank you so much uh, ritika indeed you there is a lot in there to that you have unpackaged i tell you i mean this is a huge thing i mean huge a huge topic but i i liked a bit uh, the, the bit where you 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 said you you have got to try until you get it i just thought about uh, the fact that the the people who are champions they uh the champions actually do it until they they can't get it until they can't get it wrong they do it until they get they can't get go get it get right. it wrong yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right uh, yeah mm-hmm. they 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 are, um they are focused on that until they take out anything that is uh that is making them wrong and uh, i think that's the pit and uh, when you talked about uh, uh, adison actually what happened was like it was that a thousand times and he when they they told him why are you doing this he said yes i have found out a thousand ways of not making a, bu- a light bulb so he he had that positive attitude even the, the wrongs it, it just picked them out as a thousand ways of, in which a bulb cannot be made and a thousand and one there we are vala we have what we have this light uh, i i think i'll take it over to thank you so much by the way uh, i want to i think i i think it might be time oh, unless there is someone with a burning point <laughs> 